10 seconds. I've been playing for about four months now. Uh, this is Mason. I've been playing for a year and a half. My name is Henry Reese. I'm owner of Fighter Town Paintball Park. My name is Mark DeLuca. I'm 43 years old and I've been playing for 30 years. Benny Salas, president of uh, Phoenix Rising. Me personally, I've been playing since probably 2003, but rec only. Um, speedball is going to be our fourth season. My name is Tyler Harmon. I play for Houston Heat, and I've been playing professionally for over 20 years now. Um, definition of a sport, let's see. There has to be hard work, dedication, loyalty, and respect. Uh, I think that's the four things that really make a sport. And uh, I think paintball has all four of those things, and maybe in five, just the community built around it. Well, I guess any time that uh, when you get a couple of people, at least a minimum of two people competing against each other, I guess it can be defined as a sport. Kind of anything that involves people competing. Well, um, my definition of a sport is pretty typical of what a sport is, is an activity, you know, involving uh, physical exercise, um, exerting some physical type of ability and um, you know obviously implementing skill into whatever you're doing and typically in a sport you're playing against another individual or a group of individuals um, so I guess that would kind of define what a sport is to me. I do consider paintball a sport because um, you are out here physically uh, moving around and doing stuff. There's communication, there's uh, thrill, enthusiasm, they also have competitiveness, which can take you to, if you want to call it a professional sport, they have their tournaments that you can go and do, win money, get your sponsors, just the same as if you were playing basketball, football, or any of those other you know, major league sports. I do, because there are teams that play in tournaments. I think there's uh, aspects of it that makes it a sport. I mean, there can be very competitive speedball leagues, and uh, or you can just be a recreational sport like basketball can be played professionally or it can be played for recreation and still makes it a sport. It's hard to define paintball as far as in general, but I would have to say it's it is a sport. I mean, it, it takes uh, five guys, communication, athleticism, and pretty much dedication to the whole to the sport in, in throughout the whole year to competing in an event and as you can see behind me there's so many teams now that have been out here since uh, since we started with Rising. Um, I think today there's probably I think probably seven eight teams from Arizona um, and we're pretty much getting mid-season of uh, of WCPPL so I mean it's it's pretty it's grown since since we started. Yes, I absolutely consider paintball a sport, and not only a sport, um, but one of the more difficult sports that you'll play. And anybody who's played definitely understands that because of how strenuous it is on not only your body, having to, you know, run, dive, crawl, get up, and then you have to, you know, control a certain area of the field, and then you've got to communicate as well. And people really don't understand how difficult it is to to do all those things and then talk and communicate and receive information as well at the same time. So you're using your body and then also the mind is really burning a lot of calories as well because you're crunching so many numbers when you're playing this game. So it is definitely a sport and it is a difficult one to play at that. Okay, he's hit, let him out, let him out, let him out. Switch sides, guys! Switch sides! Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. All the running around, yelling you do. I mean, it's, it's, it's a physical. It's like training. It's, it's damn near training for a military. It's, I mean, it's a, 
life and death situation, you know? So it's it's up there on one of the top most aggressive slash um, like a chess play game, a chess game. So, you know, you lose a body here, you go there, you lose a body there, you know, you it's survival of the fittest basically. <laughs> Well, I think because it started off, uh, it took a while for it just to get started off into leagues and stuff. I think a lot of people just kind of see it as just a birthday party thing or just guys having fun together. Uh, but now that they really branched out into very competitive leagues that have professional athletes, I think uh, that's kind of helped. But I think it took a while for it to be looked at as a sport, but I think it's really gaining more acceptance. I feel there's two different mindsets there. When people are playing their uh, speedball, they are competitive, 110% give, go. You will see people do amazing moves, make amazing plays, have horrible you know, three on ones and come out on top. And they have that kill mentality. Uh, recreational, rec ball, just a bunch of dudes hanging out. It's like a men's club. Hang out, talk, have a good time. A little bit easier, more casual day of play, and I I thoroughly enjoy that. I would say that's what hurts paintball because I I don't remember what year it was, but it was on ESPN. But then there was just wasn't a really big following, and, and then it dropped off. And um, now it's been it's been picking back up with uh, the NXL doing a really good job as far as um, promoting the game, uh, promoting the sport, and then now. You have some of the top players in paintball that are actually getting paid really good money to play a recreational sport, but it's really not recreational when you're when you have guys out here playing every weekend to get to get better and and uh, move up in ranks and uh, so yeah. Yeah, I think the the more scenario style of paintball um, is debatable, you know, as a sport, but it's one of the most fun things that you'll ever do and. That kind of goes hand in hand with uh, with a lot of sports as well. You have like people who just go on a mountain and, and ride down the mountain for fun on a snowboard or skis. It's not, you know, the technical sport of it, but then you also have the sport of snowboarding or skiing where they're super technical and there's a lot of different competitive aspects. So I think in the same regard as that, you can kind of hold it in that same weight as paintball where you have the very technical side, um, the professional aspect, and then you have recreational paintball, which is a riot, an absolute riot. It's so much fun. And it's actually how I started playing paintball. It wasn't tournament paintball that got me hooked. I started, you know, in the woods, on the hyperball fields, these different types of fields. And then I started, I saw uh, the pro aspect of it in the tournaments and I was like, oh yeah, I definitely want to try that. And I got into it, but um, the recreational side is really fun. So don't sleep on that. If you enjoy, uh, what I would recommend is coming out with a couple of friends. And because if you're with friends, everything with friends makes it more fun. And that's what Mason did. I feel like if I didn't come out with friends, I wouldn't be in the same place I would be here today. So I think having uh, friends and like building a community through uh, paintball is really People that are wanting to start to play, come out, come out to the field. Uh, Fighter Town is by far the best field we got here in uh, Arizona with BKW also being a great field next to, next to Tucson. Both those places will take care of newcomers. Just make sure you, if if, if you like pain a little bit, then it, it's something for you. You like that adrenaline, a little rush, a little uh, experience to, uh, to to come out here and get shot uh, willingly. Will, it, it changes, it'll, it'll change within a weekend. And go play, go have fun, because it is one of the most fun things you'll ever do. And the community of paintball is second to none. Um, but it's like the community is just amazing. We're all here to help each other. So uh, everybody keep having fun, go play paintball, and let's make sure that we give it the best shot at becoming a, you know, a sport that is more recognized by more people around the world. Jay! Our is high!